Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to make shadows for our box photography templates. So we're going to go ahead and start with this template. You can see in my layer palette over here, I've got um, two cutout images. I've got um, my photo number one, which is right there, and photo number two, which is right there. You can see on photo number one, um, and I'll show you here, that we've already got some shadows on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the shadows off here, keep an eye on that. And you can see how pretty flat it looks. And then when you add the shadows in there, um, it's just a much more convincing composition. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add shadows to our second player over here. So let's get started. Um, I have a, here's my shadows. Uh, for player number two. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a color, a dark color from the background. So we don't want to do black for our shadows, but something dark that works with your background. So let's grab our color picker, and I think it might just come right in here. And although that is very dark, and it certainly is dark, um, it's not black. So we'll start there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is grab our gradient tool, and that's right here. Now, the gradient tool, if we're creating our shadows, we want to use the radial gradient, which is right here. It's your second option. And you'll also want to make sure when we're doing our gradient, if you go ahead and click over here, we want to make sure that we are choosing the second option here, which is foreground to transparent. So we want to, um, we want to draw a gradient that is solid to transparent, uh, which this is. So now we can go ahead and get started. So we're in our shadow um, photo two layer. We've got our gradient selected. Dark brown is the foreground. So we're going to come over here and let's start by putting a shadow under his foot here. So I'm going to click down and I'm going to draw uh, maybe from here to here, just short, just a short little gradient. And you can see that it created a nice uh, radial gradient there. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, we um, can see that this layer mode over here is set to multiply. You're going to want to make sure that you set all of your shadow modes to multiply. And now we can hit Control-T on the keyboard to transform this layer. So we're going to distort this. You don't have to worry about keeping this proportional. Um, we're going to distort this and we're going to try and draw out our shadows. So I'm going to put one right about here. I'm going to make it maybe just a little bit shorter. And maybe just go this way somewhat. All right, let's hit Enter on the keyboard. That will apply the transformation. And then um, you can move this around anywhere you'd like, just to sort of get it in there perfectly. Um, I think what... I will do is maybe have it maybe half and half here, like a little bit on the foreground of the box and a little bit on um, the floor of it. Now let's go ahead and let's bring our fill down. You want to reduce this um, just to where it makes sense for your composition. I don't want this to be super super dark, and your shadows don't have to be, you know, really um, super dark. Um, they're, they're really just a subtle um, addition to your composition that makes things look real. So pay attention to just sort of the, you know, the opacity or the fill of each one of them. I think that's going to work well for that one right there. Um, and I also think it might be just a little too long. So I'm going to hit Control T again, and I'm just going to bring that back somewhat. Because we just want a little bit under the foot right now. Okay. Now I think the next one I might do is add another one so that you can see this toe was hanging over the edge, which would mean it would cast a shadow going down the front of the box. So we're going to add one more. Um, what I like to do is keep all of my shadows, since we'll be creating so many different layers, I like to keep them um, in a group so it's easier for, easier for you to find. So with this shadow, with your first shadow layer uh, selected, let's click on the group icon down here. What that's going to do is it's going to um, add these to the group. Let's call this um, shadow um, standing pair. 
So all the shadows will actually go in here. So let's click on this and drag it up to make sure that it actually goes inside. And you can tell that it did because it, it just moved over somewhat. So if I close up this shadow layer, you'll see that it the layer we were just working on is actually in there. Okay, so now we've got our group and we can continue adding layers to this group. So let's get back to drawing the long shadow underneath this to um, show the toe hanging over the side. So we're going to add one more layer in here. We're going to set it to multiply. Okay, our gradient tool is selected. So let's just draw one here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and control T. We're going to transform this. And I think uh, we should just be bringing in the edges on this one. And we'll just sort of let it hang over on the bottom. Let's hit enter there. And that will um, apply the transformation. And now we can sort of move this to where it makes sense in the composition. I think that looks pretty good right there. And I might even just uh, leave that opacity at 100% because um, I think that looks good. So there's one foot done. Let's go ahead and let's add another one. Let's head over to the other foot. So I've added another layer over here. Set it to multiply. Let's go ahead and I, I want to make a hard uh, shadow underneath the foot here. So let's go ahead and draw a gradation. Uh, control T on the keyboard. And we're going to really sort of make this sort of a very flat one. And we're going to um, rotate this. So <clears throat> you see that your cursor turns into um, a rotating tool whenever you go near any of the four corners. So we're just going to go ahead and rotate that. And just sort of follow along the shape of the foot here. Um, I think I'm going to move that in somewhat on the front. And maybe a little bit on the back. And then turn the keyboard to apply it. And now you can see how we've got a nice sort of a hard edge shadow on the bottom there, which is looking pretty good. Um, and his foot is hanging over somewhat here, so let's go ahead and add another gradation um, shadow underneath there. So let's make another layer, set it to multiply. It's going to be a pretty small one. <clears throat> Hold on your keyboard. And again, let's bring that in somewhat on the edges. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's hit enter on the keyboard. And then we can sort of just bring it, bring it up. It doesn't, that one's not really going to fall too much, spill rather, too much over the edge. Um, and I think I would bring that opacity down just a little bit. Okay, so now we've got some um, good shadows going on right there. Um, I think the next shadow that we want to look at is maybe making sort of a large shadow um, that would depict, you know, his his body on the floor, on the inside floor here. Let's go ahead and make one more. Let's set that to multiply. Let's come in here, draw another gradation, control T and the keyboard. And this is this is going to be a pretty subtle shadow. I can go just a bit more. Right there. So let's hit enter on the keyboard. And let's sort of move this, I don't know, maybe somewhere more. Somewhere in that area. And we're going to bring that, um, we're going to bring the fill down quite a bit on this one. So, okay, Photoshop is thinking on it <laughs> right here. Let's give it a second.
there we go okay so let's bring that down quite a bit this is going to be a very subtle shadow in here and I think that looks pretty good right there that that shadow is sort of like um, like his whole body like the shadow that would cast just on the floor uh, and I think that looks very good right there now the next shadow I think we need to add is one on the side here because um, he's pretty close to the side edge here so you're gonna want to cast a shadow on the inside so let's add one more in there set it to multiply let's draw ourselves another shadow control T on your keyboard to transform the shadow and this is not going to lay on the front of this but it's going to lay on the inside so let's move that shadow to the inside of the box here and maybe down just just a little bit okay let's hit enter and again very this is very subtle um, we have the set to multiply. Let's bring the fill down somewhat. Yep, that's pretty subtle right there. Okay, and the last um, shadow I think that I would add to this is let's cast a shadow of his body on the back of the box. And that will sort of complete this. Um, so we're going to add one more layer over here. With our control key or command key held down, you're going to click on the player's body because we want to copy that shape, okay? So we're just going to click on the standing player and you'll see that it creates a selection in just a moment. Photoshop is being very slow for me right now. There we go. So we've got our selection. Um, here we are on our shadow layer let's set it to multiply and we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill that with the foreground color so let's come up to edit fill and fill it with the foreground color we're going to deselect this so control D on your keyboard to deselect now you won't see the shadow because it's uh, behind your player uh, what we're going to do is we're going to really blur out that shadow so let's come up to filter and let's add a Gaussian blur to this. And we want it to be a pretty, um, pretty blurred out. That actually looks pretty good right there. What do we have this set to 20? Um, you'll want to make sure that this, you know, works for your composition. But I think that actually looks pretty good there, uh, set to 20. It really sort of blurred out those edges nicely. Now what we can do is um, let's just sort of just cast him off just somewhat and we, we're going to want to bring that shadow down somewhat because it's not going to cast a really harsh shadow it's going to be sort of a very subdued shadow I like that there um, and then the, the last thing I think I would do for this is I would add a layer mask to this shadow because you're not going to see those shadows over here you know from his legs so we're going to just get rid of those shadows on the bottom so we're in our um, uh, mask template, our mask layer, sorry, right here. We have our gradation tool selected. We're going to change it from radial to just the straight regular, okay? And with black selected, we're going to ramp from the bottom, which is black. We're going to ramp it up, and it should get rid of the shadows on the bottom, and you can see how it did that nicely. Um, let me turn that on and off for you. So that's off, and then when we turn it back on, you can see it's just, it's a very subtle shadow it casts, but it really helps um, to make it feel like he's actually inside this template. So now if we um, go ahead and close up our group here, we can turn off our shadows, and then we can turn them back on, and we can see that we've created some very nice and convincing shadows to help your images. Mm -hmm.